you so annoying? Why are you so annoying? This is not being annoying. Why are you so annoying? Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas vlog number two. It is currently Monday. I think <laughs> it might be I think I'm right, yeah. Um today as I put in a couple of clips, I went to work this morning. I got out quite a bit earlier than I thought I was going to. I got out at like twelve forty five when I was scheduled till three thirty, so we here and my work got me this really cozy sweatshirt or blanket. It has a UMass symbol, but I'm all cozy so I'm not gonna show you guys it. Um, but at work, I got to listen to my audiobook for like three hours, so I made a pretty good chunk. I don't even know if I said, I'm reading Dry by Neil Shusterman. I started the audiobook at work, and I'm 150 pages in now, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Neil Shusterman honestly can't do me wrong. I always love his books. I think I mentioned before, I have been reading his books since like middle school, and I love them every single time I read them. They're always just so unique and so interesting and always make such like a commentary on something important while telling a good and just interesting story. So obviously this one is about climate change. It's actually even dedicated to people who are trying to stop climate change. Wait, wait, wait. This book is dedicated to all those struggling to undo the disastrous effects of climate change. And it's about basically, it's just about like when I think it's California, finally just goes dry and has no more water and like kind of the end of the world, I guess, because of this. So I'm really enjoying it and I think I will probably be listening to the audiobook more this afternoon because I need to pack and clean and get ready to go home tomorrow um, and also like pack up my car and stuff. So uh, yeah, so today I'm going to do that. I need to wrap one more gift. I need to drop by my leasing office, I need to go to Target to get my prescription, and I need to drop by my work, my other work that I didn't have today. So that's the plan. But yeah, I do think I am going to listen to this audiobook a little bit more while I get stuff ready to go. Because yeah, I want to get stuff ready so I can bring some stuff down to my car and then I can just drive to the store and stuff. But that is what's happening. I'm pretty excited to be going home tomorrow. My mom said she's gonna make chicken pot pie, which I love chicken pot pie. So yeah, and again, enjoying this book. So I'm kind of excited to just listen to the audiobook for some, some more. Woo. Okay, it is quite a bit later. I'm here with my kitty cat. I packed a bunch and cleaned and just basically started getting things ready for tomorrow and I also listened to my audiobook. I am now 320, 320 pages into this book so I might finish it tonight. That means I only have 70 pages left. So I might finish it. It's only 5 o'clock. I know, it's so dark out, you'd never think it was 5 o'clock, but it's only 5 o'clock. I might finish this. I also just ordered wings. Yeah, I think I might finish this. I think that'd be a really good. I'm really, really enjoying this so far, so I really want to see how it ends. I feel like like reading in one sitting is like a really good way to consume Neil Shusterman's writing. I've done this with Scythe and Thunderhead um, the past two years, so... I just, I really, I just love his writing so much. Like, I feel like he's such, like, a guilty pleasure author for me just because I literally could like anything he writes now. So, yeah, I think I might finish this tonight. Eat my wings. Have a good time. Be with my kitty cat. My kitty cat. My kitty cat. So, yeah. I think, I think that's gonna be the plan for tonight. <laughs> I'm back. on my wings. Hell yeah. I already ate half of them before. Thought the like open my camera to say I got them. Um, I must. I wanted to ask what everyone's favorite wing flavor is because mine is the golden barbecue. And if you guys don't have a wings over wherever you are, you're missing out. Just gonna say, wings over Amherst is the best wings over by far. But if you don't have wings over, I guess just what's your favorite wings flavor in general. But yeah, mine is definitely golden barbecue with ranch. 
so dang good oh my god and then we have a kitten a sleepy baby so yeah i'm gonna eat these and watching some vlogmas videos because i'm behind i have like 75 i think in my playlist so that's good so i'm gonna watch some and then i'm gonna finish dry so i'll update you guys when i finish that Hello, it is quite a bit later. It's like 11.30 at night. I finished dry, actually, I finished it like a couple of hours ago. Yeah, I, fi I finished dry by Neil Shusterman. I read it all today and I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars because I just really enjoyed this. I thought it was a great way to kind of explore climate change and like all of that, but in an interesting way, kind of like what I was saying before. And I just ended up really enjoying the story. I really liked how there wasn't really a like romantic aspect to it. I like how Neil Shusterman doesn't shove like romance down your throat. And I like the characters and just everything that happened. I thought it was really, really good, but also like scarily realistic. So, but yes, I'm really happy I read this. Again, I gave it four to five stars. Really enjoyed this, so. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. Yeah, because I have to go home tomorrow, so I think I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. But I read a whole book today. Woo! Have I started both vlogs by reading an entire book in a day? I think I did. That sets such high expectations for me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is currently Tuesday. I'm going home today. Well, back to my hometown. Um, so I'm all packed. I figured I'd show you guys the books that I'm bringing with me, um, to go home. So, okay, so the first books I'm bringing are just random books because I think I'm actually going to be staying with my parents, like, in our hometown for longer than I originally thought I was going to. So I'm bringing quite a few books because I plan on doing some reading because I don't work this break. I, like have two classes I'm taking but like I'm not actually working so I hope to read a lot uh also on audio I'm bringing way what words of radiance which um Haley and I are gonna be reading in January there's my kitten look at him you're so annoying but for physical books I am bringing the Tale of Genji volume one just because I'm really in the mood for this and I know if I put it off too long I'm just never going to read it so we have this book then I also am bringing Three Souls by Jenny Chang because this is for Cramathon uh Haley and I are doing a buddy read of this it's my favorite book I always read it before the end of the year and then I'm also bringing Skyward by Brandon Sanderson this is going to be my next read I think um because it's the 18th right now so Cramathon doesn't start until the 22nd so I think I'm going to try to read this and finish it before Cramathon or finish on the first day of Cramathon or something like that so Skyward and then in my big suitcase I also have books because yeah um I also am bringing The Princes of Ireland by Edward Rutherford this is a book I picked up a little while ago and basically this is one of those books kind of like Tale of Genji is that I know if I don't read it soon I'm never going to read it so I'm bringing it with me and then basically I just have my Cramathon TBR so these books which you guys will have already seen a whole video for my Cramathon TBR this isn't actually all of the books I plan on reading but these are the physical books that I plan on reading um so yeah that is the current reading book situation um but yeah now i actually need to like get ready to go so all right the car is packed the kittens are here and pissed off we ready to go <laughs> hello everyone it is later it's the next day i think since i updated last it's mon no it's Wednesday, December 19th. Um, I'm here for an update because I haven't updated in a while. Oops. Yeah, so I am obviously in my hometown house. If you guys are new fans, you have no clue why I did but Other people know this place. <laughs> I have some updates. Firstly, number one, um, I got 
an interview with a teaching fellowship that I applied for about two months ago and that interview is happening tomorrow and I'm so excited. I think I mentioned in my last vlog how I was like, I don't know how to get teaching experience like for grad school, da 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 um, and this would be teaching experience so I'm so excited plus it would give me something fun to do over summer because I hate the summer so much but I'm so excited about that. That is going to be tomorrow morning and I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous but I'm really excited. Number two, both of my re recommendation letter people accepted and said that they would write my letters of recommendation for grad school. Woo! So I just need to write my personal statement and then I'm like basically set. So that is awesome. As well as I actually just got my classes for winter break. I think I've mentioned before I'm taking two classes which is a ridiculous amount of work like I had my Dean literally like tell me straight up she was like this is going to be way more work than you're thinking it is it's whatever though I'm really excited because one of them I'm taking a class called death and dying and we have to read um, 15 things but it sounds like it's gonna be really fun and a lot of them are like not like full novels I think the longest book we're reading is like 250 pages and I only need to buy one book because it gave us PDFs for everything else. Hell yeah. And then the other class, I can't believe this. I was so upset because my class that I was taking for professional, writing as a professional, like novel writing, like uh, if you wanted to be a novelist, um, I was really excited to take that class and it got canceled because I was the only one who signed up for it. I'm like, guys, we have 30,000 people at the school and I was the only one who signed up for this class. Come on. But I signed up for just a random other class and it was called film and literature which I don't know if anyone else knows this about me but I hate watching films I hate watching movies I hate watching TV it's very rare that I actually watch anything besides like YouTube I just don't have the attention span to be completely honest like I have the attention span for a book but like visual things like TV shows and movies I just don't care as much but I signed up for it just because I was like whatever it's fine I'll just take it and it turned out to be a Shakespeare class I can't can't believe this. Uh, if anyone doesn't know this, I love Shakespeare. Shakespeare is my favorite uh, like subject of literature to study. I want to teach British literature in high school to be able to teach Shakespeare. And I love Shakespeare. I think I have a couple videos about it on my channel. I love Shakespeare so much and this turned out to be a Shakespeare class film and literature. So we're doing Much Do But Nothing, Macbeth, and Twelfth Night and we're gonna like watch the film adaptation and read the book. So that sounds awesome. Firstly, not that much reading, which is awesome. And all three of those I have already done. Much Ado I did in high school. Macbeth I also did in high school. And Twelfth Night I literally just did in college like two semesters ago. <laughs> so this is going to be awesome. I'm actually really excited now. Like it's going to be a lot of work and it's going to be a lot of reading and writing and dying. But I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be really, really fun. So yeah, those are my updates. I think those are all my updates. Today, the plan is I basically, <laughs> like I was saying, these winter classes are going to be so much damn work. I am basically taking advantage of every single day that I have actually off and doing nothing and like just kind of lazing around because when my classes start, it's going to be a lot of dang work. So I have a week until my classes start and I have a couple days where I'm actually doing a bunch of stuff. But other than that, on days that I have off, I am going to be a lazy bum and do what I want. So today I am going to read my book. Let me get it. I'm going to be reading my book. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is his new YA sci-fi novel. It's YA and it's like um a little over 500 pages. Yeah, it's like 500 and a few pages. And I kind of I want to try to finish this before Cramathon starts because this vlog is only going to go up until Cramathon because I'll be vlogging for Cramathon by the way, and that starts the 22nd. So I want to try to finish this before Cramathon starts. So. I'm going to be reading this today, as well as I finally found a place to watch 100 Days of My Prince, which has been my favorite K-drama, but I stopped watching it back in October because drama fever closed down. It is still, I am still shook. I'm still shook about drama fever shutting down. So, um, I finally found a place to watch it, so I'm going to watch it. I think I'm on episode like 10 or 11, so I plan on watching an episode or two of that this afternoon, maybe tonight evening-ish, but I really want to start 
skyward. Sorry, I don't have the dust jacket. I didn't bring it because I didn't want it to get ruined. But yeah, so I guess I'll update you guys again when something interesting happens. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is a little bit later. I have been reading. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of distracted reading. I was like reading, but also talking to friends on Twitter and texting people and stuff. But I did make progress. I read like 130 pages of Skyward. So, um, I don't know. I always find the beginning of books just take me a little bit longer. So I'm sure I'll read this and then I'll read the last 400 pages in like one sitting. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's definitely different from his adult stuff like just the writing of it but i am really enjoying it and it is pretty quick to get through i am a little confused as to how there's 400 more pages of this because i'm like good morning everyone it is currently december 20th and i am getting ready for my interview Woo! I'm kind of, I'm not nervous. I'm actually like pretty good at interviews, so I'm not that nervous, but I'm nervous that the Google Hangouts isn't gonna work. Uh, but yeah, so I did my makeup and hair, got my nice sweater out, so I look cute. And um, now I'm just waiting. It's 10.22 and it's at 10.30, so. Uh, but yeah, um, I guess I'll update you guys after my interview to tell you if it goes well. I really hope it goes well. This is for the teaching fellowship, so. I really hope it goes well. <laughs> oh, I finished my interview. It actually went like the full time. Like we, she was like, oh, just schedule it from 10.30 to 11.30, but usually it takes half an hour, 45 minutes. But we talked the entire hour, <laughs> which I think is personally a good thing. So yeah, it was actually, I think it went really well personally. She said she'll be back to me within a week, which is thank god but um she actually really liked that i had worked with younger kids which i was the most nervous about because my graduate program actually was a little bit concerned that i hadn't worked with high school students even though i want to teach high school um but this woman said that she's actually really happy that i had worked with like eight nine ten year olds and like up to 12 year olds because apparently our kids that we work with are between fifth and eighth grade so um, lower than the actual age group that I want to work with as a professional, but still it'll be teaching experience and I'm really, really happy how that went. She seemed to really like all my answers and she seemed really friendly and she re really liked how I was super friendly. So I think it went well. <sighs> Pray for me guys. Pray for me. I will... I'm really nervous now that it's over. I'm never nervous for the interview, but I get nervous, like, obviously to know whether I got it or not. Um, I really hope I did, though. I really hope I did. She said, um, apparently we get to design electives for the students, and she thinks that my multiple languages will be really, really good, because apparently the kids always love foreign languages. Apparently last year they had Japanese, and the kids loved it, and she said Korean would probably be really, really fun. So, uh, that's really great so yeah so now that my interview is over i'm actually gonna go out to lunch with my friend nikki uh i haven't gotten to see her in months because she went to college this semester oh, my baby girl's growing up but yeah we always go and get wonton soup from our favorite chinese restaurant anytime we're home together so i'm gonna go do that and then i also have a dentist appointment actually um this afternoon so i am going to do all of that and then I'll be home by like three. I feel like I have, I'm gonna be doing just so much today. Hopefully I'll get to come home and read a little bit. I actually really want to read some more of Skyward, but I'll keep you guys updated as I do stuff. That's how vlogging works, woo. So I'm at lunch right now and Nikki went, I wanna be in your YouTube videos. So here's Nikki. Oh boy, I feel this famous. Is, this is your debut. Tell the world what you what you're like. What I'm like? Um I'm a fucking dumbass a lot of the time. <laughs> okay, same. Weird flex, but same. <laughs> okay, that's all that's all you're getting. Okay. You got twenty seconds. This is it, my claim to fame. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so I am back from the dentist and my friend and everything. Um, and today I think I'm going to do a kind of reaction montage. Basically, I get asked to do a lot of reactions on my channel, mostly for new stuff coming out from Elo Producer um, artists. And I get asked to do a lot of reactions, and honestly, I never can keep up. I just there's too many songs from way too many artists coming out to do a reaction for every single one so i haven't actually been keeping up very well at all so i have three songs that i actually really want to listen to that i'm going to um from idol producer stuff and then i am also going to react to 17's new music video that just came out today so we're just this is a very low-key vlog reaction if you haven't seen me do this yet it i'm literally not even gonna put anything on the screen or anything i'm just gonna react Again, I get asked to do a lot of reactions for not being a reaction channel, and I don't have time to edit and put up this many videos, so I'm just going to react, and you guys, that's all you're getting. Of course, the literal second I click on the video to react to, my laptop is like, you need to restart your computer to be able to watch videos. So I'm going to react to Tangram's new song, Focus. This is just a song. I really like their first song, Radiant, so big hopes. Oh, this is funky. I like it. This is very different sounding from their first one. A little bit more boy bandy and cute. That's fun. That's that's a pretty fun song. That was very boy bandy for Tangram, but I, I kind of liked it. I also have a focus, like a forward focus, and I'm just like, that's the first thing I thought of, and I don't really know why. <laughs> and now Z has a new song out, um, 6 a.m. Is it, this another slow singing song? I swear to God. Can Z come out with a rap song, please? Come on. Yeah, okay, we're not even gonna listen to that fully. Well, that was bad. I. <laughs> Why won't he just make a rap song? Why does he keep trying to sing and that's auto tune? Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna watch Seventeen Getting Closer a music video. I've been told by Haley that I'm gonna die watching this, but I'm excited. Ooh, there's clocks. Ooh, fire clocks. Ooh, why does that look like Black on Fucking Black by NCT? Seventeen, what are you doing? Was, was that literally just Black on Black? That was, Seventeen is copying NCT. Whoa, 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 stop. Okay, Mingyu, that was good. I didn't like the auto tune. Wanu. Oh my god, stop. I don't know why that took me a second to realize who that was. Oh my god, this is so intense. Where did Chin Young just come from? Ming Hao, Ming Hao, the new idol producer mentor. What a bro. Was that Jehoon? Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, this is sick. That move was literally NCT. Black on black. This. I'm not saying they're copying black on black, it's just very similar. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, Jung Han, oh my god. Oops. 
Oh my god, Jihoon looks amazing. Dude. I'm overwhelmed right now. Jihoon! Oh my god, Jihoon looks amazing. He looks like I saw I saw this I saw this tweet and it was like Jihoon like never looks older, he just looks richer. And I fucking agree with that. Oh, Jihoon. What is this bad boy concept that's happening right now? I like how new people are singing so much. It's not the same three people. This is cool as hell. That- Wait a second. Wait a second. That was- That was- That's, li that's literally Yuta's part in Black on Black. I'm, uh, this is really similar. I really like it, but oh, it's really similar to Black on Black. Oh my god, Wanu. Oh my god, Wanu. Ending with another Wanu line. Classic. I love it. I love when they end with a Wanu. Um, okay, listen, I really like that, but... Um, that was real damn similar to Black on Black. Not like necessarily the song, but like the aesthetics and the choreo. I'm, I'm scrolling to see if anyone else said that. This is super awkward, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, first off, I really, really liked that. And everyone looks amazing and the choreo is cool. Just saying, it seems really similar to Black on Black. That's all I'm saying. It's amazing though. If you guys didn't know, I've followed Seventeen since debut. Wanu is my bias. Mingyu and Scoops are my second biases. Um, yeah, no, that was really cool. What is this though? Is this a comeback or is this just a special random music video? I don't know. But there are my reactions to all of the things. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> okay, I've looked on Twitter and other people are agreeing that Black on Black and what even is the Seventeen Com getting closer are similar i'm just gonna throw it out there i'm not saying anyone plagiarized i'm just saying it's similar it's similar which isn't a bad thing like tbt to when bts fans got mad that anyone else had like a concept that had like a story to it like it's kind of like that i'm just saying it's similar I'm not saying anyone plagiarized not saying anyone is in the wrong i stand nct and i stand 17 and i love both of the groups no, no fan wars, no getting upset, that's all I was saying, is they're very similar. Oh, I'm also looking in the tags, why does everyone hating on black on black? I love black on black. <laughs> like, we can stop shitting on black on black, thanks. Good morning everyone, it is currently December 20th, which is Friday. Wait, no, it's the 21st, which is Friday. Um, I, this is the last day that I will be vlogging for Vlogmas because tomorrow is the start of Cramathon. And at first I was going to, like, just overlap them and vlog for both, but, like, that doesn't really make that much sense to me. So I'm just going to stop this vlog today, and then you guys will be getting a Cramathon vlog after it's over, which is, it goes for, until the 28th. So... You guys can look out for that. That will have a bunch of Christmassy stuff in it too because it goes through Christmas. So, but today is the last day of this vlog. Erin is coming over in a like hour or so, so you guys get to see her, which I know everyone loves Erin. She's got some fans, and I think we're gonna do our Christmas gift swap. I'll show you guys what I have. Ooh, so cute. This is her gifts. I thought it came out pretty cute, so. But yeah, we're gonna be doing our gift swap and just hanging out, and then my family and I are gonna go out to dinner, I think, tonight. Which is funny, because we're going to the exact same place I went out to lunch yesterday, but... I love that place, it is my favorite restaurant, and I'm gonna be really sad because my family is actually moving away from my hometown, so I might not get to go there very often, if ever again. So, uh, yeah. That is what is happening today, and then when Erin does leave, I have big plans to finish skyward i want to either i want to finish it i don't want to even say or get really far in it i want to finish it because i don't want it screwing up my cramathon plans so i am going to be finishing skyward tonight i mean i'm a pretty fast reader i have 300 pages left but like if i actually just read 
past when I normally read, um, I could probably finish it. So that is going to be my goal for today is to finish Skyward. Plus it's YA and I'm like in the middle of it and I feel like after like it gets to like the last 150, 200 pages, it gets really fast in like any book. So I hope I get to finish it. But I'll update you guys when Erin is here. Uh, Aaron is here. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to your fans? Hello, my one fan. <laughs> Here, one fan who she's currently talking to through my Twitter. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to your other fans? I did not have more. Hello. I feel pretentious. I don't want to do that. Okay. I'll just say hello, people. Okay. <laughs> um, please, um, click the dislike button and unsubscribe. I didn't even get to vlog. I hit 6,000 subscribers last night. Um, I posted about it oh, on I Twitter. I didn't these caps. I hit 6,000 subscribers last night. <laughs> but anyways, I, Aaron and I are opening our gifts to each other. Yo, from each these other. are basic. Do you like my bun? I got three buns now. I got a bun? Yeah, your bun's stupid. It's just not as big. Why does it have to be stupid? Because you're stupid. Now you're upside down. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you are. Okay, I'm gonna film her opening her gift. Okay, so I have this. Open. Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna. I, you have to open this one, and then this one, and then this one. Do you like my Dollar Tree wrapping? I'm gonna put it on my bow. I mean, my bun. No, put it, put it on top of your head, not your bun. I want it on my bun. It wouldn't look good on my... Yeah, 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 like that. All right. Perfect. Yo, your rapping sucks. <laughs> I'm a great rapper. No, you're not. Damn, shut no, up. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Oh, what's he doing? <gasps> oh my god, what is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I already told you about that one. <laughs> I, I literally, I literally got it for you because everyone has those on their backpacks at school. It's a mirror. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, I asked one of my friends in class, I was like, oh, like, where'd you get this? And he was like, oh, because he had a Koya one, and he was like, oh, it, you can get them on Amazon. And I was like, what the fuck? And then he said it was a little mirror, too. I just love him. And yeah, I got, uh, you get my Fushin mask that didn't fit in my face. I hope it fits your face. Perfect. And then this one? Yes. I wonder what this is. I have no clue. I bet it's a boom. It's actually a car. No, it's not. Is it's it? It's from my grandpa. <laughs> oh, hi. Do <laughs> you want some? Tay -tay. Do you want to come open gifts? Okay, this was the one that I found that Ellie and everyone was like, this is perfect. You're going to have never heard of it before. I have to explain it. I'm vanilla. So this book is a book. Do you get book, it? Do you get the no, joke? No, This book is a book written in verse about an asexual main character. <laughs> but it's written in poetry. I and thought... look how look how gay it is too. Oh, I guess that's why it's called vanilla. Yeah! I just made the same joke. No, but wait, wait. Look how gay it is. Why? Like it's like it's like um, it's the bisexual flag, but then the this is like black and white, so it's the asexual flag. Isn't that cute? But look, it's written in poetry. I, I thought it was perfect. I, you're, you're all, I, I, it's written in poetry. <laughs> I'm like trying to read like the like the back of the book and like see what this is about, and you're just like, look at the colors. <laughs> I told you it's about a asexual. Right. It's it's about two boys. Can, can okay, I, can fine, I, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I'm a boy. No, I'm not. I'm not a boy. <coughs> oh my god, his name's Vanilla. Yeah, his his like his nickname is Vanilla. Oh, I love it. It's about two boys who are in a- I, I already read this book. I bought myself a copy, too. <laughs> I think it's really good. I'm zooming in on your face. Don't do that. <laughs> but I thought this was perfect. I love poetry. I hope you love it. I loved it, so. I think you'll like it. Plus, yeah, I know. I was like, Erin loves poetry and gay, so I was like, perfect. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> It's me. Actually, that's not me. <laughs> I was about to say, that's your husband. Illy has the same one. I got Good. him the same one. You guys match on a couple things. <gasps> oh my god, this is so I know! <laughs> How did you get these so tiny? What? This thing. What thingy? 
Oh, that I print that I printed out of my own sticker yes, thingy. I yeah, love I it. Wait, there's dumb. more. I'm, I'm looking. I'm dumb. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Did you print it? Is no, it so, someone someone gave me that. Yeah, it's a sticker. Oh, that okay. that one that the one of us is also a sticker. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, I'll put it on my laptop. I know. <gasps> Isn't it cute? Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, you and Illy both got that one. So you guys match. <gasps> and we match. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm dumb. Ain't that cute? Yeah, yours is not as like... I know, I'm a better friend because I'm better at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I zoomed into her face. <laughs> oh, you mean? <laughs> I'm such a good... She could pick it. Mm-hmm. Do you like everything? Uh, yes. Wow. I'm gonna read my book during my break. Good, good. I think it's an album. Is it an album? What? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> and then you break it. Good job. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's cherry bomb. Oh, that's... Oh my god, it's Taeyong! <laughs> I know. Wow! Where did you get this? Uh, my butt. Did you get it from, what's it called, Newbury Comics? No. Maybe. Yeah, you did. Well, it was named something else, but... What well, were you gonna get? I need to hear this I explanation. don't want to tell you because then you're gonna be sad. No, 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 I want to know. I found a light stick, and I was gonna get it, and I did, and then it broke. Oh so my god, what light stick? Maybe that advance, but it broke. It broke? Yeah, so I returned it. Oh my god, from where? Newbury Comics. Wow, Newbury Comics. And so I was like, I don't think that that is supposed to happen. So I, yeah. But I already looked through that. You already looked through my album? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to know who you got. It's pretty though. No, it's super pretty. Oh I god. was like, oh my god, does she have this? If she does. No, I don't. I haven't gotten any NCT I'm gonna stuff. have to, like, I don't know, <clears throat> murder her. Oh my god, everyone looks so good in this one. I love this, like, era. So good. Do you know anyone? Yeah. Who? Tian. <laughs> good job. I want you to name them all for me. No. Tell me. I can't. Tell me. Just yeah. guess. <laughs> um, okay, okay. <laughs> that one is hot. Yeah. That right. one is a baby. Hotter, Don't say anything. Don't say but anything. He is tiny baby. and I love him. There you go. <laughs> that one's, um. Come on. <laughs> sexy. Nope, he's a baby too. Uh, Take that back. I him. Soup de doop. You know him. Poop. Yeah, I do. That's Tim. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh. Oh, is that my boyfriend? No, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's next to him, though? Um. Good looking. I always forget his existence. That is, um. Bob, and that is, um, Jim. Well, you, you got two, there are two people with English names. One of them's Mark. Not, not either of those two. Yeah, try, I'm try over one here. Is Mark. Try over here. <laughs> Who's Mark? That one. Good job. Who's Johnny? That one. Good job! <laughs> Does he look white? <laughs> no, I just guessed. He looks like a Johnny. <laughs> he looks like a Johnny. <clears throat> wow, thank you so much. I can't believe I got a Taeyang card. Illy's gonna be so mad. <laughs> I can't believe you went through my album. Do people too. make fun of your laugh in the comments? No. You guys should make fun of your laugh. Stop. <laughs> oh, look at the album. That's cool. That's that's the that's not the album. Not that's the, the album. CD. The CD. There you go. There go. Words are hard for an I English know. major. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Do I just like... You can stop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What? I'm showing Erin Tangram's new stuff because she loves Lin Tezza. I love him. We're dating. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't seen Radiant, go check them out. I think it's him. better than focus. He's so focused. handsome. He's so, he's so tiny. Oh, is that a bowler tie I see? <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, it's wearing a bowler tie. He is really tiny compared to everyone else in the group. Nothing's wrong with being tiny. Size doesn't matter. 
Valid. We're at dinner. We're at the exact same place I was at yesterday. Oh, he knows where you were yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm back from dinner and it's like almost eight o'clock at night, but we all read Skyward. <laughs> we all read it. We all finish it. So that's what's happening tonight. And then I'll end this vlog when I finish this book. I finished it. <sighs> oh my God. I'm not gonna lie. I almost gave up towards the end, but then it got absolutely insane and I had to finish it. Okay, listen, this book went from like maybe a 3, 3.5 out of 5 star to like a 4.5 out of 5 star so damn quick oh my god Brandon Sanderson firstly just knows how to write a book but he knows how to write an ending so damn well this felt like when I was reading Way of Kings and it was just like get to the last like 100 pages and it's just like bam 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 here's like a bunch of information I was just this was so good and I'm so excited for the next book. I know I have so long to wait now, but this was so good. You know, I was honestly nervous that it was like a YA sci-fi because I'm not that big of a fan of YA and definitely not YA sci-fi, but oh my god, I should have trusted Brandon Sanderson. I loved this so much. Yeah, I think I'm between like a 4.25 and a 4.5 out of 5 star. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm so happy I finished it. And now I am all set to start my Cramathon TBR tomorrow because Cramathon starts tomorrow, the 22nd. So I think I'm going to be ending this Vlogmas vlog here. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this Vlogmas and there will be one more video out tomorrow which will be Christmas for you guys. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this 12 days of videos. I had a lot of fun with it and I really of course enjoy vlogging and you guys will be getting a vlog for Cramathon so I hope you guys stick around for that. Anyways, I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!